Now let's pay attention to the C element. So let's just go and do the C element. So why don't we call it C element? Constitutive equations. Or laws, yeah? So let's uh, um, let's draw a C element for for fun in here. We'll have uh, well. I need to let's just do this in the same order that we did before. Let's do the mechan the the mechanical C first. So that is going to be um, this would be a spring in here like this. And then the electrical one would be a capacitor like this, yeah. Or in a hydraulic sense, this could be an accumulator, you know, a tank in here um, that has has an area in here and a volume, you know, with water in here. Okay, so these are the elements. What are the constitutive laws and the constitutive relationships that we have for this? So, in here, we're going to uh, to put, if you have this force in here, and this uh, force in here, um, I think what we need to do is uh, write that F is equal to K times X that we know this is known as Hooke's law yeah and for this capacitor we always know that the voltage is 1 over C in this case the integral of IDT that's how we learned this for a capacitor and in here that the pressure is equal to uh, also again 1 over uh, some coefficient in here the integral of QDT in here but you may say oh look uh, professor this one and this one don't look like this one no in fact it does because when you when you think about F, we have defined the stiffness as being the opposite of compliance. C is the compliance, so this would be one over C. And X is the integral of X dot dt. See? Now all three are on the same page. So this is the the element. This is the constitutive equation. Mm -hmm. That's the basic constitutive law. <coughs> In here, we need to um, um, define, um, perhaps, uh, uh, in this case, we have it in this integral form, but we could say that the, um, the derivative of the um, like the x dt here you can say the x dt is equal to x dot which is the flow right in this particular case you have that the um, if if i is equal to dq dt or we can write it in the derivative for in the the in the you know in form of derivative the dq dt is equal to i and this one in here that dv in this case um, the <coughs> q is uh, dv dt you know q is the the change of volume versus time so dv dt is equal to q so that it will be consistent all across there so <coughs> we next we did the block diagram, right? 
So if you have this equation, what, what basically you are doing is <coughs> you are saying that here comes x dot and then you integrate once like this and of course you get x and then you multiply by 1 over c maybe we should start doing this huh? because uh, this is the simulink symbol that is used and this 1 over c and then this is f same thing over here see comes i in here it gets integrated once and then you get q here and then you multiply this by 1 over c and out comes the voltage v if you do it to, for this one you will say that the input to this is q and then you integrate it once and then you get the volume here be good to put it be like this so that we don't confuse it with the voltage and then this is the you integrate it once by again 1 over c and the result of this is going to be the pressure so this is your block diagram mm. okay so this is the 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 constitutive law in because it has an integral it's called the integral form of the c element okay and uh, we have um, the next step that we took was to relay this to our bond graph notation so how do we have the representation of the C element in this way? We have to look what is the output here. The output in this case is this uh, force, right? So we, we represent the effort variable of force with a crossbar like that. So this is F and the input to this is X dot, see? Um, this is if I if I if we generalize the notation, maybe I'll do it with um, you know on uh, up down here so that everybody can um, relate to this. This is the C element. I'll go and put the same colors in here. If we generalize the notation, this is E, and this is F like that. And in here, if we put the C element in that same way, for the C element, you know, C element with a crossbar like this, what we are saying here is that this is the voltage here, and right here, this is the current. And if we do it in generalized notation, this is E and this is F. Same thing for th for this one. So all these are um, this is the bond graph in this is integral form. Mm -hmm. So in this is going to be pressure and this is going to be Q like this and we put it into the generalized notation that we have this is E and this is F so the the equations that we have in generalized notation of the bond graph model here are that that the output E is 1 over C times the integral of F dt and this is true for this for this also I mean if it's helpful I'll just will write it and you see it's the same but um, it actually has different units and this is uh, then also that dq 
dt is equal to f. Those are the equations that we are interested in. dq dt is equal to f and dq dt is equal to f. So now this is the, all this we have done is the integral form of the C element. Okay, but if we change the equation to another form, we can study the derivative form of this element. And uh, maybe I should put it in here. What about we put it here, derivative form? Is 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 just another form? And, uh, see derivative form of the constitutive law. So the original was the integral form. You had you had that f e equals to k x for this, yeah. You had it like this, f is equal to k times x. Or we, we wrote it like f is equal to 1 over c, the integral of x dot dt, right? That was the thing. But I could actually um, write this equation in a little different way. You know, I could, multi I could write it in terms of if the <coughs> if the output is x dot. If x dot is the output, you will see that this would be c times df dt, right? Yeah? I, I, have, I have written the same equation, but the output now is f dot. <coughs> so for this and uh, for this occasion, now you see I have I have that the output is the representation of the C element is going to be that the output is this and the input is the this. Yeah. And <coughs> the representation on the block diagram, we're going to do both things. So this is going to be the output is x dot and the input now is f. But let's just uh, finish it up in here. You know that dq dt is, or in this case, this is x, you know, dq dt is x dot, or perhaps let's just write it in terms of the same variables as I had in, I had previously done so that we are consistent dx dt is equal to x dot this is equal to the f variable right so you you can say that um, you have this equation in here and then this equation so that means that the dq dt is equal to x dot which is c times d f dt or in generalized notation is d e dt so maybe we should yeah well this is okay and I'll write one more line dq dt is equal to c times d e dt See, now this is the derivative form of the C element. I think since we have um, done one, you could see it would hold for the others. But this is the bond graph model. What about the block diagram of this? So it follows here, um, if we do the, the the block diagram of this equation that what you have is that f comes in here gets differentiated dt then gets multiplied by c 
and out comes x dot or in the other notation that we have generalized notation that e and then gets differentiated by dt gets multiplied by c and out comes f this block diagram is true for all three of those and this is the derivative form of this element this is the derivative forming the block diagram form with the variables of the physical system in this case the mechanical one and this is the the, the notation for the generalized form so this is the derivative form for this um, perhaps just to be consistent the derivative form for this element in the electrical domain would be if we have this would be the current here and this would be the voltage here and for this other one the derivative form of this would have this is Q and this would be the pressure P but in general all three of them would have a bond graph notation which is generalized where this is the flow and the input to the C element is there for variable so that is what I wanted to say about the C element both in integral form and in derivative form and this is totally consistent for all three um, examples that you have seen for the mechanical for the electrical and for and for the um, for the um, hydraulic system